I think, I'm not sure. We're going to, listen, we've got so many different buttons here tonight. And it's going to be a bit of a mission because it's all new gear work. It's like flying a plane. Isn't I know. It? I'm going to hope. If, I don't know if they can hear me, but I'm not sure on the line now if we have Britain's Got Talent at finalists. Amazing as well. I don't know if they're there, but have we got Twist and Pulse live on the air? Hey, it works. Look it at works. That. Look at that. Technology. Technology. Oh, cool. brilliant. Cool. brilliant. Anyway. How are you doing, lads? Good, thank you. Good. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, we was just saying earlier we've been we've been fortunate enough to work with you lately and for the on the good on the charity night and pop down to Demelza and Ifield, which we'll say a little bit more later on. But we've been talking about Britain's Got Talent, X Factor, and going back to about probably use a bit young, but new faces and opportunity knocks. And we was just talking about how it is nowadays. And um, how are you feeling about the program nowadays? Yeah, I think it's still really good. Obviously, you know, it's been going for a while now and. You know, I think uh, the thing is, talent that's coming out, there's only so many things you can do now. Once it's been done, you know, that it, to be original now is so much harder. So um, it's interesting to see the sort of things that people come up with now, mixing different talents together and stuff like that. So it's always something good to watch in it, definitely. No, it's definitely, this is Gary, by the way. Who am I to, is, that, is that Twist or Pulse or Ash or Glenn? Uh, Who am I talking Pulse. to? Oh, Glenn. this is Pauls. Hello, Glenn. Listen, yes, and um, you're right what you said. I mean, there's some great stuff coming through. But the thing was amazing about when you guys were on there in the first place is that what you done was just something completely, completely a bit different revolutionary, that yeah, broke the mould of what anyone else was doing. I think that's what really stood in good stead for all them years with the stuff you're doing. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. The founders of Street Omedy, is that right? Me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> was was that, that your the street omedy word? Was that your own was that your own word you thought you'd uh, you'd make up or it was it around before that, the street omedy word, yeah. or was it yours? Yeah, no, yeah, we came up with one there. It's actually Twist came up with it during one of our interviews, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That, um, I basically they asked us what, what our like, um, our style of dancing was called and literally just made it up on the spot and was like, Yeah, it's basically like street dance and comedy mixed together. It's um it's street street comedy, and we literally just said it. Brilliant. And next thing you know, it was actually like a thing, and that's what everyone was calling kind of our style of dance on the show. Absolutely, it's brilliant. Though. But the, the best things are made up on the spur of the moment, aren't they? The best deals and everything yeah, exactly. are done on the spur of the moment. And we were saying earlier, like use the use obviously the first lads. Um, that you know, like you said earlier, there's been so many dance people now, but the lads were revolutionary, weren't they? I just think you've been remembered, haven't you? Because I know you've had like a lot of the bigger groups on there. I mean, see, I'm terrible because you cut there's some of them I can't remember. I mean, was Susan Boyle a dance act? No, she was a singer, sorry. Um, <laughs> there, but no, you you had on there, um, obviously, I remember Diversity, they was dance on there. There's been some others, I can't remember. There was another lot, I can't remember their uh, name. Sig- was it a signature one? It might have been signature. That was, I think that was a Michael oh, Jackson. Yeah, that's it. yeah but yeah. used to the ones that everyone remembered, and obviously, it's gone on from strength to strength because what you're up to like how many years ago was that 2000 and i think it was about 2010 Ten. so that's look, nearly seven years ago seven now, yeah? years ago yeah you Amazing. were young men then you were small boys oh, what are you trying to say, yeah, they, to say? Yeah, there's are still young men edge i mean we, we, we was out recently wasn't we to, uh, we had a privilege to visit to and that and uh we did say after that we thought we was young two we was with you two and it made us feel really old oh. so you're a lot younger than we are <laughs> so don't worry. and we was talking earlier about the buzzwords weren't we do you remember yeah, that was it? yeah all all these, brilliant because you're being young and hip and like all your little words you come out with you know and you talk yeah. these two now and again and i think what's going on here i don't remember these words i think paul's got because <laughs> we, 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 we was asking what was cool and what was not because we like to try and keep with it if we can and we were saying like would you remember when we said cool man and, and like just probably that's not that's just not it's just not in anymore is it you know and and then we right, said I'm, I'm worried you know when you say it's sick yeah yeah sick. I don't get I don't that worries me a bit I always thought someone was ill but it's, <laughs> this is a true story now about these words when I, this it's is true, this is yeah, not yeah. controversial when I was a kid right this is true boys I used to go around to my nan's my nan bless her she was a lovely lady and um, she's been dead 75, 75 years she's been dead no she hasn't been dead that long but she's a lovely lady and I used to go around there and she used to say to me oh come and sit down you look a little bit queer that's what yeah. she's my nan you look a bit <laughs> queer and I was going nan what do you mean I look a little bit queer like not well and, no not and well, that yeah, means yeah. not well it does no I'd never heard that no you know, no in my life. <laughs> Things change, don't they, over they the do. years? They change quite a bit. But we, we was looking... <laughs> We, we, that is amazing. We, that's very true, isn't it? Yeah. There's a few others as well, but we probably can't repeat them on air. But um, the, the um, you know, like all the OMG now, and I, I, I actually, I've got to confess, we had to Google a couple, and there was one that said FR and Calm and Extra. Did any of them mean anything to you? 
What are they saying again? Uh, sorry, it was a bit fast, yeah, wasn't it? Slow down. F R. <laughs> you rapping? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you're rapping a, a Christmas a, present. That's, that's, that's a good right? yeah. <laughs> F R. F R. For, For real. real. They are, see. Yeah. They are. And calm. Yeah. There's one about yeah, calm. 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 Yeah. yeah. Calm. Yeah, calm's like, yeah, 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 that's calm, that's calm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then extra was one of them. Do you yeah, know that? extra. Why are you being extra for? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Tell us. Tell Wikipedia, because I've put I've buzzwords in there. Tell us a couple of new ones. Come on, because we like to keep up with it. Tell us some of the buzzwords on the street. Oh, God. Uh, oh, buzzwords. <laughs> what should we say? What should we say? Basically, the overall one that's stuck around for more than, like, 10 years now is sick. As you said before, yeah. like, it's still fine to yeah. say sick. Yeah. And a lot of people still say sick. But but there's other words out there now that that are like, oh, what's an example? Um, oh, wavy. 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 Yeah, wavy. wavy. So wavy means sick, and sick means good. So wavy is like... Oh, you're wavy, man. You are wavy. <laughs> so, so what's this other one? I keep seeing Joey Essex use it a lot. I don't watch that program, but I've seen him on TV, and he goes, "What yeah, ream? Yeah, ream, which is obviously made up. It's easy to make. There's no yeah, way. We, yeah, we right? don't say that. Okay, one. <laughs> but this one, everyone goes, "Yeah, it's on trend. On trend. On trend. Is, is that yeah. just good? Is it?" It's, yeah, but I've never heard that in my life. I but was... you, talking about sick as well, I mean, like you said about your name when you were young, if we were going along the road and you liked saying your car, you travelling on holiday with your mum and dad, yeah. and you said sick, they'd have pulled over quick and you'd go in a bush and you'd be sick. Yeah. But, but <laughs> nowadays, it'd be it's really cool. But um, no, it's now, uh, listen, interesting. Qu- quickly, boys, I want to get back to what you guys do, because um, that's what yeah. I really wanted you on there for. Um, just have to have a little bit of fun with you. And I've got a little quiz lined up for you as well before we go. Because I'll tell you why I've done a little quiz for you. Because I've, I've become a massive fan, a massive fan of your YouTube stuff and all your Instagram. That's hey. great. It's brilliant. And I've got to tell you, not only people listening to this just think you're great dancers. I've got to tell you, you are two of the funniest uh, double act, a funny double act. And it makes me laugh. Some <laughs> of the stuff you do, you do the right amount of time and it just obviously grabs you. And I've seen you getting loads of views on the stuff. But is that something you want to go into? Because it really works, you two together. Yeah, definitely. Like, we just like having fun, really, and just having a laugh. And I think that's what it's about. You're not taking yourself too seriously. And just having a laugh. So whenever we do something, we always find the fun in anything we do. Like, we literally went to the zoo the other week and we filmed it all and made, like, a proper video out of that because it's literally just... You know, having jokes and messing about, and, you know, having fun. That's the main thing, really. And the thing, it works. It works for you, Sid. There's, there's some, um, apart from the dancing, you have got such a great chemistry. Because how long have you been mates? When did you meet, you know? How long have you been best mates? Are you best um, mates? Or can you, are you yeah, best mates yeah, or do you not like mates. each other? <laughs> <That's it. laughs> no, no, we've been, we've been mates now for about nine years, I would say. So, like, we wasn't... We wasn't mates from like when we was in primary school and that. We only met at college, which was yeah, about nine years ago now at the Brick School. Um like, literally like we just got on straight away and as long as a lot of people think as twist and told we're very similar because we're like one half each like of the duo and everything we do when you see us on stage and that. Yeah. We're all like in sync and stuff and we're wearing the same outfits and things like that. But we're actually we're actually like the complete opposites in terms of people um, and like sense of humour and personalities, but that's what makes it work. Yeah, yeah. Like we both yin and yang. Yeah, we literally that's complement yeah, yeah, yeah. each other, and that's what and that's what kind of shows twist and pulse on the map, really. Well, that's that's quite interesting, isn't it really, because um, we've worked with you had the pleasure over many years at many festivals. I remember one of the first times at Dartford Festival, but being out with you recently in that, we went to Demels and Ifield and you know, your your humour and, and how you are with each other and that, and that really comes across. And me and Gary both said that you think you'd be great as a double act on one of the, you know, it'd be great, wouldn't it, to, to see the lads do something like I'm a celebrity or one of them, wouldn't it? Be That's a thing. You, know, yeah. really nice. you never know, mate. You never would know. you, would you, if you got offered, here we go, if you got offered one of these, would you, yes or no, would you both do I'm a celebrity, get me out of here? Yeah. You would both do it? Yeah, yeah. probably. Okay, yeah, here's, the here's the next one. Here's the next one. Would you do Celebrity Big Brother? Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I think it would be a, a, a hard call when it comes in, but yeah. I think you just got to 
tra- I think, take yeah, these experiences. I think, you know? I, think, I think we would like to do it, but we we would like to go into something like Big Brother because of we want to bring the fun and we want to bring that the energy kind of thing rather than yeah like the arguments and all that. Not a bad drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so yeah, true. Like, as much, yeah, so as, true. Much, as much as the arguments make make the show like. Like we're big fans of the show anyway, so we watch it and it's like if it's like coming tonight and it's got like all arguments, I get excited because it's very entertaining. But us <laughs> as a brand going in there, I think we would go in there and bring the fun and the energy. So yeah, no, I think we would never say no. Well, but... how about this one then? Would you? Because that's good. <laughs> would you go on Love Island, Celebrity Love Island? Would you fancy that? Oh, um, I'm this, all loved up. Well, hang on. This uh, might change yeah. your mind. This might change your mind, okay? I've had a phone call <laughs> today saying, if you get Twist and Pulse on the phone and you do Celebrity Love Island, they can go in it and you'll go in with me, Paul. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't believe a word you hear. Don't believe um, a word you hear. I'll do it. I'll, yeah, do, I'll it do, do it just for the fun of the villa. Yeah, yeah. It'll only be us boys. It'll only be us boys. But I'll tell you something. All, all, all jokes aside, what the lad said as well, it, at least you'd have a laugh in there. I mean, when you see them people in it, like the jungle or, or Big Brother, I think, God, surely they could make up a game or, or do something. They I was playing games oh, all blimey. the time. Definitely, time, yeah, a bit of fun. Yeah. What's your fa- What's your favourite game? <laughs> what's your favourite board game, boys? The favourite board game. Oh, here's one for you. Um, board game. Mine's Game for Fame. If you've heard of it, never heard of that. No. Must be a new one. Yeah, new one. It's proper good though. Uh, my favourite is. Um, have you heard of Payday? No. no. We're more Monopoly and Cluedo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> must be the, up- <laughs> must be the update version. I'm going to look them up. Yeah, I'm going to look them up. Me, Payday is sick. Is it? It's wavy. It's wavy. And proper good. It's I'm wavy. Write, gonna, just let wavy. me write that down. Proper good. Like right. Proper now, good. twist and pulse. It is now time for the bit I'm going to call my quiz. Okay. This is a quiz for yep. you guys. I want to find cool. out who knows the most about life and about any <laughs> entertainment. In fact, it's just going to be one of them stupid quizzes, right? So I'm going to ask you some questions. Right. You won't hear this music, but I'm going to have a little bit of music in the background here. It does, okay. At the moment, we can't get this. You know, it's all new. All this, all these uh, buttons we've got in front of us. Four million buttons. So right. it's potluck, really. Just press one. Futuristic and snazzy. It is. Okay. Yeah, it's proper good. So I've got twist and pulse. Okay, we're going to kick off with an easy little quiz. First of all, very very easy one. Okay, here we go. The first question is going to go to twist. Okay, can you keep scoring, yeah. Paul? Oh right. yeah, will. Yeah, right, I'll be the scorer. The first question is going to go to twist. To twist. To twist. Sorry, I'm wearing these teeth in for an horse. Right. Okay, Twist. <laughs> Who has the most money? Who is the richer person? Is it Richard Branson or Alan Sugar? Who is the richest person? Ooh. Richard Branson or Alan Sugar? Here we go. For 10 Richard points. Richard Branson. Are you going to go for Richard Branson? Yeah, okay. Come on, Richard. We're going to go to question now. Another question now. We're going to go to Pulse. We're going to give you the answer in a minute. Okay, Pulse. Who is the richest? Yep. Simon Cowell. Or Sir Paul McCartney? Ooh. Simon Cowell uh, or Sir Paul McCartney? I'm going to go Simon Cowell. Okay. Oh. These are the points after the oh. first round. The richest person out of Alan Sugar and Richard Branson is Alan Sugar. Oh. Oh. This will amaze you. Alan Sugar's worth £140 billion. Pound. And Sir Richard yeah. Branson is worth five billion. How is about really? that? Oh, see, I, 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 I would have said I, I would have said Branson. Okay, let's go down to uh, Pulse now. Simon Cowell, you said Simon Cowell. Simon Cowell yeah. is worth five hundred and thirty-six million pound. But Sir Paul McCartney is worth six hundred and sixty-eight million pounds. <laughs> So at the Ooh. moment, boys, I've got to stop the music. That 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 was appalling. I'll be honest with you. We're going to go for an e- hard. We're going to go for an easy one. Was. Okay, we're going to go again. Okay, this is the next one. All right. Here we go. Here's another rich question. Okay, here we go. This is for your another ten points. Here we go. Who is the richest? This is for twist. Mick Jagger yep. or Elton John. Mick Jagger from the Rolling Stones or Elton John? I love oh. this game. 
I'm going to say Elton John, man. I'm going to give you I 10 points because it's Elton John. 10 points there. Hey. Come on. Okay. Big one here. Who's the richest person, Pulse? Is it right. Rod Stewart or Tom Jones? Oh. Rod Stewart or Tom Jones? To keep it all square. Listen, Tom Jones. I'm going to listen. Before you go, I want to try and keep it all square. Before we go, you're going to go for Tom. I was going to give you a clue there. You're going to go for Tom Jones. Yeah, I'm going for it. I'm just going to dive in. It's a wrong answer. Okay. It's Rod Stewart. Ah. Tom Jones is worth, according to the Sunday Times Rich List, £160 million, and Rod Stewart's worth £170 million. Look how close that was. Yeah, no, but you, wow. didn't, but you can't moan about it. You lost it. Here we go. Big one. Big one. <laughs> Big one. Easy one. Easy one for you. Who's got more money? All right. Who's got more money? Andrew Lloyd Webber. This, in fact, I'm going to do this one to twist. All right. Twist. Yep. Andrew Lloyd Webber or Adele? Yeah. Andrew Lloyd Webber or Adele? Oh, wow. You know what? Yeah, this is a hard one. I know. I know. That's why I, that's why I give you. Because Adele ain't been around for like ages. Yeah, yeah, but she's done very well in her concerts, hasn't she? But she shut down the world, didn't she? Yeah, really? yeah, but yeah. She did miss two of her shows at Wembley. Yeah, yeah. Did. Well, she that could did. have made yeah, all yeah. the difference, so, couldn't I mean, it? I mean, if she'd done them, then I might have said her, but it's making me think now. <laughs> so, yeah. go on. We going Lloyd Webber or Adele? Do you know what? I think this is a trick question, go but I'm going to go Lloyd Webber. Okay, you ain't going to believe this, right? You ain't going to believe this. Adele is worth £125 million. How old is she? Only young, isn't she? No. Uh, yeah. 28, 28. You went for uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Yeah. Who is worth £740 million. Get in. Is he really? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is great. Right, so yeah, one more, one more. This is going to Pulse now, I think. And we get the scores after this before our last round. Okay, here we go. All right. It's a bit of dancing coming in there. This will, this will be appealing to you. Okay. Michael Flatley. You know him? Lord of the Dance? Yep. Michael Flatley or Robbie... Stavros Flatley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <No>? Stavros Flatley. <laughs> You got it! Hey, Brilliant! No, it. that's worth winning. You've right. won out. So right hang on, Dan, you made me laugh there, right? Hang on, I lost me thread now. So, Michael oh. Flatley, Michael <laughs> Flatley, <laughs> Michael Flatley, or Robbie Williams? Who's worth the most? Oh, that's an odd one, isn't it? Uh, Robbie Williams. It's a wrong answer. Michael Flat is worth Come 200 on. million pounds. Robbie Williams is worth 150 million pounds. They're your Robbie's questions. Blacking, isn't he? Yeah, he's yeah, blacking. he certainly is. He's been doing all that stuff and look at him. A little I know. But the, the, what, but the thing is, he hadn't told you all these artists. You never know where they might have some money stashed. They might no. be pretend. That might be what they yeah, got on Wikipedia. It says here. It might twist, be a load under their pillar. It says Twist and Pulse are ranked number, number nine in the rich list, are according to okay. the Daily Express. And they have... <laughs> They have That'd seven, nice. seven pounds, seven pounds they have. Um, seven let's go. Each. So, what each? each. So, listen, boys, uh, what's the scores there, Paul? What's the scores? Uh, well, the scores were Twist, were you doing them in tens or Whatever, ones? you just it's give me right, a score. Right, 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 right. Twist got 20, and on this occasion, Paul's didn't get it, but I reckon we should do it a bit like Ant and Deck and get them back another day as well we and will. do another. Carry just, it on. I just over. want to finish with one thing with them before they go. Oh, no, I didn't say it was going. Oh, okay, good, because this is important. <laughs> this is like a deal breaker. Uh, what we decided to do when we got you on, on the radio is because I think you're very funny guys. I think you're great dancers. You've even had records out. Am I right? You've had records out. You've done a single. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to play it later. We managed to find a copy hey, of it. And, <laughs> and I'm not sure about this, but I'm really into impressions. I love people who do impressions, right? So we thought we'd have a little, we're going to have this little game where we're all going to do an impression, right? We're all going to do an impression. We've got to guess it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe we could do that. That could even be, that could work. Yeah. That could work. Maybe you guess who we're going to be, right? So I'm going to kick off I with Paul Shed. I'm, no, I'm not going to do it. So Paul Shed oh, is yeah. going to do an impression, boys. So we're going to let him on. The, we're going to count him down three, two, one, and he's going to do an impression. You've got to think of it. You're a bit younger. Okay, it doesn't matter. Listen, we're all, all right, in it together. All right, all right, okay, Paul Shed, first of all, for the first celebrity impression of the evening on Mad Wasp Radio. All right, I'll have a little Here go. go. Re- three, two, one. Mm, I had a little bit of trouble. Bruce Forsyth. 
No. Oh. Oh. Go on. Go on, do it again. Hmm. I had a little bit of trouble. Yeah. Oh, I, don't know. <laughs> I know it is. I know it is. I want to see if the young'uns get it's it. Just... Go on, who is it? I ain't got a clue. No, you wouldn't. Because so many years ago, isn't it, really? See? It is... It is Frank Spencer from some others. Do you remember he used to wear the berry? I'll send you a couple of YouTube clips and okay. you can have a little look. Hey. Right, okay, let's go over to Twist for an impression. I thought you oh, were doing no. it. I'll do it. Build yourself up, lads, because you've got to do two no, I, as well. I, I, so but I, you do yours first. I'll go do on, mine go now. On, go on, okay, on. here we go. Okay, you must be won't get this because it's going to be like really an old yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I'll do a couple of them. Oh, yeah. You have to go one more, don't you? Well, no, because it's like a little group. Yeah, go on. Okay, go on. Uh, wah, wah, wah. Hello, everybody, boys and girls. <laughs> yes, hello. <laughs> I bet I ain't got a clue, have you? <laughs> I ain't got oh. a oh. oh, so clue. Like, do it again, do it again. Uh, Wait, one more time. Uh, wah, 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 wah. I'm on the radio, and I'm talking to Twist and Pulse. Yes, and they're really... I'm doing all the actions. Yes, and they're really nice boys and great dancers. Uh, I don't really like them. I prefer Bungle. I'll give you a clue now. Wow, boy, that commitment was good, though. It was, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. But you, got, you think how long ago that stopped, that programme? It was my favourite programme. Yeah, but they, the lads were probably just born then. Oh. Right. From, like, the Muppets or something. Right, well, well, actually, you did get that quite right, because he is a bit like a Muppet. But yeah, but, it hey. worked, worked. <laughs> but he's so, not really. Boys, but that it, was Zippy and George from Rainbow. Do you, oh, oh, I don't no. know that. Yeah, oh. they didn't know it. See? See? Right, right, OK. Right, go on then, lads. It's right. your turn. Let's have Twist up Go first. Twist. Go on, Twist. What? Oh, Twist. Okay. <laughs> right. Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Yeah. Okay. It's party time. P-A-R-T-Y. Because I got it. Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump. He said Donald oh, Trump. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's, Did you do that again? He's having you on. He's having you on. I think I know it. Go and do it again. Right. You ready? Yeah, yeah, on. yeah. yeah. Go on. It's party time, P A R T Y, because I gotta. Could that be? I think you've done really well there. That I'm, I'm going to say that is um, Jim Carrey in the film The Mask. Yes! Hey. Oh, yeah. hey, 10 points to good, mate. That was good. Yeah, he was That's really good. Sick. In fact, it was that good. That was really I good, wasn't it? I thought it was Jim Carrey. I did. I, th- yeah. I actually thought you had rung Jim Carrey up. And he'd come round <laughs> your house. Or, or he's ran for a cup of tea. Oh, a YouTube yeah. clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's amazing. I'm, 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 I'm gobsmacked by that. Okay. Come on in. Next impression. Come on in. Oh, I've it's... got one, but I can only say the, the person's name in the impression. Oh, that's <laughs> all right. That's oh. all right. Oh, we'll get, we'll get that one then. No, that's easy, isn't it? It gives it away. Okay, oh. look, we'll let you do that one, and we'll let you do another one after, just to make up for oh, doing I the bad one. i think of another one, though, won't okay, I? Okay, do that one then. Luke can just do it. You've been good so far. Go on. Oh, Miss Alzada Binks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> don't know. That's the actual character, isn't it? Don't know. Who is it? You don't know. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I said the name. No, I didn't hear it. We didn't actually get it. Can you do it one more time? Have you not, this is have the you last... not seen Star Wars? No, no. I've never watched a Star oh, Wars film no in my life. <laughs> they're, they're having you on, though. No. You haven't seen Star Wars. Was that Yoda? There's only like 20 of them. Was that Yoda? <laughs> We've got a lot of catching up to do. No, it's Jar Jar Binks. Who's that? Is it... I remember Return oh, of the Jedi. No, oh, don't. <laughs> See, a whole age gap don't going know who on. Jar Jar Binks is. No. No, no. no. We've got a bit of catching up to do. It's the age gap that's kicking in. Listen. Oh, man. What do you mean Star Wars started in the 80s, didn't it? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, but we was only born in 1990, so we've got a bit of catching up to do. Just uh, It's always great talking to you lads now, but we've got to go back to and, and talk about what the lads are doing now as well. So um, I know you're, um, uh, you know, you often do pantos. Now, I think last time we was talking to you, you actually writing some pantos as well. Uh, is that correct? Chore- choreographing. You what? Sorry, but sorry. Choreographing. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. And is, have you got yeah. a, a couple out this year? Yeah, we're doing two this year. We're choreographing the full shows. So that's going to be um, good because we've done one last year, but this time we're doing two. So brilliant, two brilliant. different stories that we haven't worked on before uh, as well. So it should be good fun. Well done. And, and what theatres are there? If you want to give them a little plug. Um, yeah, so on. so the first theatre is the Gordon Craig Theatre, which is in Stevenage. Yeah, that's lovely. Be, uh, yeah, Jack that's in nice. the Beanstalk. Brilliant. Um, and then the other theatre is, oh, what is the name of it? I don't know if I know, I know the name of it at the top of my the head. Kettering. 
Um, and it's Snow White. It's going to be so brilliant. Like, I feel like I feel like it's called the Lighthouse. Theater, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I think totally you're right. Wrong. You're right. I, I, I know of that one. I think you're right. It's called the Lighthouse. That's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Boys, just a quick one as well. Can you just give us as well? Can you just plug your Instagram where we can find you and the YouTube channel? Because I know we've got bits right down. Just to give us an address because I think it's worth a watch for anybody out there to go and follow you guys. So if you can give us a bit of social media. Yeah, no problem. So yeah, Instagram is Twist and Pulse Official. It's the same on Facebook, Twist and Pulse Official. YouTube.com forward slash Twist and Pulse. We're on Snapchat, Twist N, just the letter N, Pulse. Um, what else? Musically, Twist N Pulse, if you're on that as well. Great. Got loads yeah, of stuff on great. content on all, all of them, really. No, no. Well, well, Twist well, N Pulse. Brilliant. They are good. I watch them all the time and they're, they're good fun, like Gary said earlier. And they're not too long and they're, they're absolutely brilliant. I just We just want to thank you again for the recent... Uh, they've done a charity night for us, the lads. And we had loads of um, legends on there from Jim Davison, Bobby Devro, Duncan, the Jive Aces, Take That. And the lads come and done and come down to, as we mentioned earlier, Demelza and Ifield. And it's much appreciated because you... I know you give up your time uh, for nothing and you're a oh, busy pleasure. lad. So uh, we raised over just over 4,000 for the two charities. So really appreciate that, lads. And you're two cracking guys. And yeah, we, we really a, do wish you all the best. Echo Paul's words on that. Absolutely amazing uh, what you guys done. We really do appreciate everything you've done. And uh, we owe you, we're taking you for dinner very shortly. So we, we need are. to back off your bits and bobs. Yeah, yeah. We're going out for a big stab up meal. We're, we're, we've got to look for somewhere cool and trendy. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. We're, we're, we're thinking yeah, we're some, some trendy. Are, what does that mean? Well, they're, 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 they're trendy. It's a bit like proper good. Oh, okay, nice. No, like... <laughs> All right, Listen, yeah, boys. Brilliant. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for coming on as our first guest That's on this right. radio show. Yeah, You've been a joy. No problem at all. Both look after yourself. Right. Cheers. Keep gents. safe. And we'd like to Take see care, you guys. very soon. Cheers. All right, then. See you later, guys. See ya, bye. Yeah. bye.